Hello everybody, welcome to Tony and Dee's Kitchen. I am Tony, and guess what? Today, what we're gonna be doing is, I told y'all we were gonna go and get some products from some of the companies that, uh, uh, that are putting out vegan products. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be trying some of those products and kinda let you know how we feel about the taste, the flavor, you know, how good they are. Uh, and it's just our opinion on how they taste. Some of you may like them, but we just want to just sample some products we got. We're going to have some fun today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be doing this uh, uh, Daya uh, pizza here. And this is their Daya spinach mushroom pizza. And this is dairy and soy free. It's gluten free. It's a vegan pizza. So we're going to be doing this product today. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the oven here because I preheated the oven. I've got one of those little stone, uh, what do you call it, those stone... Come here, did he help me out? <laughs> Come on over here. Did he help me out? He's I got have a one pizza those stone. Pizza stone. He's got a uh, okay. large pizza stone. Yeah, nice pizza stone, man. Yeah, okay, so here's how the pizza look. Uh, we've got it. This is how it looks coming out of the box. You know, it looks pretty good, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in the oven. And uh, I've got it ready and going. For, uh, and so that's going there. I'm gonna be tossing that in the oven, putting the mushroom that fell off on there. All right, that's in the oven. All right, good stuff. I'll let you handle that there, Miss Diddy. All right, next, we're gonna be trying out another vegan product. And there's some hamburgers. I told you we had some vegan hamburgers. Mom, let me tell you what, Tom, Tom, what? So these burgers right here, we're going to try these out today. And this is what they kind of look like right there. Look like burgers, don't they? Little green, little patties, don't they? Look pretty good, don't they? So we're going to put them in the oven. I'm going to slide them over here. On the side here. Slide them on the side. Right on the side. So they in the oven. So that was a cook. We got those cooking. When they come out, when they get ready, we're going to tell you what they taste like. We're going to tell you what they like. So that's good stuff. So uh, let me go ahead and show you some other things we're going to be trying out today. Uh, we're going to be trying out this uh, diet. You know what you're talking about? Macaroni and cheese. What? 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 Macaroni and cheese. What? What? <laughs> so here we go. Diet. Got some macaroni and cheese. Check that. Check it. Check it. Check it out. That's the regular macaroni and cheese. And then they have one that's an Alfredo. I got a yeah. piece of spinach on my hand there. The Alfredo version of macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna cook up what? Not one, but two types of vegan macaroni and cheese. Didn't think we had it. Didn't. Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you think we had it? No. But we got it right. Wretch him. So we're gonna be cooking that up. Macaroni and cheese. We're going to be doing some of that, and uh, let me see, we got some other stuff we want to try. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Right. Woo -hoo -hoo. He is okay. out of control. All right, all right. Check this out, y'all. This is supposed to be the vegan egg right here. It's supposed to be like, you know, it's good stuff. Now, the company, Follow Your Heart, you know, they rock and roll. I rock with them a lot on their cheeses. There's some good stuff, but this is supposed to be a vegan version of eggs. So we're going to try it out. On this one, we're gonna do a scramble with it, and then we're gonna make what they call uh, what's that thing them toast called them? French toast. That American French toast. Uh, French toast in America. Fr American toast in oh French. Whatever they wanna call it, how you wanna do it. But we're gonna do some French toast with it, with the eggs too, cause we like French toast. I don't know about you, but we like the French toast. So we try the French toast out, and we're gonna do a regular scramble with these. Just see how they are. See how they come out. Okay. All right. We're gonna do that right now. But we got something we can sample before you right now while this other stuff is starting to cook. And so we're going to get something in front of you. And we're going to sample a little bit here. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. See, I'm coming back and forth. See, I ain't woo, wasting no time. This is Kite Hill, okay? This is a cheese spread they have. It's like a smooth, kind of like cream cheese style spread. I don't know if y'all saw that. Let me put it up there closer so y'all can see it. It's a smooth cream cheese style spread. See that? That's pretty good stuff, right, 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 right? Pretty good. Okay, so uh, this is a spray. It's kind of like what you would do with your Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't know what they are. Yes. But this is spread, right? So we're going to open this up. 
right here. And we're gonna, we're gonna, they didn't already hit some of it already, but I'm gonna go get some chips. And we're gonna try this out. How we gonna try it out? What we gonna do? What? We, we need some, some chips. Huh? We need some chips. Get some, yeah, get some chips. What? What you say? She wants some chips. Okay, I got this organic corn chips with uh, chia and quinoa, Lake July. Y'all seen that on the, 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 what's that thing called? Nachos! Man, I can't remember stuff today. I'm about to take some matcha. Matcha. You drink some matcha tea. Get my mind in the place today. So we got some corn chips here. We're going to try this out. This little spread dip. Kite heel. Kite heel. Let me see. I got a little, mm, look, look. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. What is it made with? Girl, that thing is good. What do you mean? Mm. It's made, made from, from artisan almond milk. Mm. It's dairy free. Oh, Lord. Give me another one. Oh, made oh, from God. almond milk. Mmm. It is. Hey, y'all, that is good. Mm. Wait a minute. Hold on. Man. Uh, Where did um, you get this from? Kroger. Look at here. That's good, man. Get that. Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. If you're one of the people that love that Philadelphia cream cheese and you like, you still love your bagels, but you want something smooth to put on top of them, mm -hmm. this will go perfect on top of one. Put this on a bagel. You ain't missing nothing at all. Put this guy here on a bagel. Mm. This is a good spread. Oh, look at it. We, we already we turned it up. I'm trying to tell you. Mmm. So that's good. Mm, this is be a taste test. This is not an eat test. We're eating everything. <laughs> We're getting more than a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so this is good. Yo, this it has is good. a sour cream and onion taste. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yo, it's mm. like a sour cream and onion dip. One of them fancy ones, not one of them cheesy ones. One of them fancy. They got a good flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, amen. Amen to that. Tight heel. Y'all rock, tight heel. You rock. Good. Good y'all. All right. All right, I'm back. Tight heel. That cheese spread is off the chain. Good. All right, we're going to try something else. Uh, this is from a company. Looks Well, it's, it says it's Primal Strips from PrimalSpiritFoods.com. So, what this is, hold on, let me show it to you. Dun, 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 dun. It's that version of what? Beef jerky. Check that out. That's a mesquite lime version of it. And this, look, look here, look here, look here. Hot and spicy, baby. So hot and spicy, girl. Ooh, so hot and spicy, baby. Okay, all right, so, uh. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Lord, I don't know where that song came from. Donna song. Love you, love you, baby. Oh, man. Oh, so anyway, here. Here's the mesquite lime. Come on, Diva, you want to try these with me? Mesquite lime, beef jerky. They got it where you can kind of tear it open. Tear one side open. Got the little tear thing. <laughs> Hope I don't break it, man. I may have to cut these. Like, oh, oh, let me see. All right, I got it. Here, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here's a little piece. And it kind of look like meat. Kind of look like meat, y'all. Check that out. Kind of look like meat, don't it? Hmm. But it's not meat. Check it out. It's not meat. It is not meat. So here you go, Diddy. Get you a piece. Boy, it's kind of tough. It's in there together. Look at, ooh. It's supposed to be big jerk. It's going to be tough. It's supposed to be. It's, it's a vegan, but it's not meat. But look at it. Look at it. Tear apart, y'all. Look at it. Tear apart. Look. I want y'all to see that. Tear apart like meat, don't it? See there? Beef jerky by Prime. Okay, all right, we're gonna try. Oh, okay. Mmm. That's pretty doggone good. That's not bad at all. It was good. Yeah, when y'all see this vegan beef jerky, mmm. Mmm. You mm. want some more, don't you? It's good. Get you I'm smack it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. 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 That's good stuff. Wow. 
Okay, that's not bad. No. That's not bad. Now here's another one. This one called their hot and spicy one. Oh. It has a dark kind of beef look to it, you know. Mm. Look like a candy bar almost. It tears apart the same kind of way. Yeah. There you go. Let me show y'all how to tear apart. See, tear apart mm -hmm. just about the same kind of way. Man, that tastes like it got me. That tastes like the real deal right there. Mm. Okay. I can't then. tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I honestly can't tell the difference between the actual beef jerky and these. The actual beef jerky, the only difference to me is the actual beef jerky, you gotta chew it a little bit longer. It's a little tough. Mm -hmm. So you gotta chew it a little bit longer to get it, you know, where mm -hmm. it needs to go. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far so good, y'all. We didn't try the, mm. we didn't try uh, that, the cheese, we didn't try the, the beef jerky here, my primal, mm -hmm. good beef jerky. If you miss beef, beef jerky, when you're a vegan, wow. go to primalspiritfoods.com. All right, we're back. All right. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, the, the spread we had was good. Yes. Uh, the beef jerky was, <laughs> oh, it was pretty interesting. It's good. It's good, yeah. So now our burgers are ready. Um, so this is what they look like. I come out of the oven. I have them on a piece of bread right there. The patties. Looks just like a regular patty. So we're going to go ahead and fix them up like we normally do. We're going to do the basic ingredients. So just uh, some tomatoes, pickles, and lettuce. Mm -hmm. That's all. Just basic. Not, not getting really in depth. Yeah. Put mayo on it. And, and, and seeing what it tastes like compared to um, some of the regular burgers. So I put some pickles on mine and Dee Dee has hers out and let you do your thing. Yeah. We'll put some lettuce, I guess, and some tomatoes. And we're picking around each other. Oh Lord, we got two of them hooked together. That's all right. All right, all right. so we got that. And I, on mine, like I do on my <laughs> simple veggie, I like to put a little, uh, Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to do a little sea salt and black pepper on mine. Oh, you know, yeah. Because that's how I do my normal burgers. I put a little, make sure I got a little, little sea salt that's there. Not, yeah. She wants something on hers here. And it's a little black pepper. Oh, you want something on yours? Yeah. Okay. You look coffee cat. <laughs> I am a coffee cat. <laughs> okay. So, uh, then we're gonna get some mustard to put on this top portion. You, you putting regular mustard or Dijon on your? I'm putting Dijon. She likes her Dijon. I like my Dijon. Now, like I say, Dee Dee has a version of Simple Veggie too. Like this uh, one from Trader Joe's. And she she does that. And the bread we're using right here is a tapioca bread. I don't have the case for it because we we took it out of the case and we stored it in the refrigerator, and I have it in one of my cartons here. Uh, but it's a tapioca uh, bread that you can get. It's the same spot in Kroger where the brown rice bread is, but this is what it looks like. It's just tapioca. Uh, and so um, I don't have the, like I say, the bag that it came in because we took it out to put it in here so they can keep them fresh. It keeps, stays fresh in these cartons here from Tupperware. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna try out these patties. It looks like a burger. Looks just like a regular burger. Check that out. Looks just like a regular burger. It's just a vegan version. Okay, and let me get the company and let you see them again. Dr. Prager's. Let's see, this is Dr. Prager's Super Greens Veggie Burgers. So that's the company there. You can get those from Kroger. So we get to try it out. We having fun trying out all this stuff. We ain't got to cook, we're just trying this stuff out. Okay, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. This ain't funny. This ain't funny, ain't it? It's good. This ain't funny at all. It's what good. the what? You mean you can make a vegan burger taste this good? It's really good. No way. Mm. Mm-mm. It's really good. 
Thumbs up on this one too. This is a good burger. And it's got what pale in it and Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's vegan. Yeah. It tastes so good. Yes it does. What? Mm -hmm. Y'all listen here. <laughs> what? Didn't take a lot of time to make either. Yeah. All you do is preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Put it in a, one of those cookie sheets. Get a non-stick one if I you get one that's they got non-stick ones that's made out of ceramic, whatever. You know, that's what I have. And so all you do is put it in the oven, cook it on cook it on for six minutes, and then flip it, and then cook it for another five minutes, and you're done. These burgers right here, trust me. They're good. When I have a get together, mm. I'm gonna cook these burgers on my next get together. Mm -hmm. Because I want people. Mm. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. I want people who are not even vegans to have these burgers. And I just wanna see their reaction. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, that's good. That, that's, that's, I know. Oh, this is kind of fun sampling these products. I'm having some fun doing this. They're really but, good. Oh, they're good. They're really they're, good. I, I love them. I, I, As you can see, we're not struggling to eat anything. Oh, man. These things are good. Mmm. 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 Oh. Okay, guys. Burgers are good. I mean, really. I'm telling you. I'll tell you, that's all right. Invite yourself over to the house. I'm going to pull these burgers out. And I'm going I'm to let you sample these burgers for yourself. And you'll see how good they are. Mm -hmm. Vegan or not, put this. When you have a get-together, get Dr. Prager's. And get Dr. Prager's. Put them on a the sandwich with that lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles on there. Make your burgers out of this at your next get-together. Show them off. I'm not even ashamed to show these off. Trust me, you're going to win some people over. This is a good deal. This is a good deal to, put up, uh, to give people who are not vegans, mm -hmm. who don't believe in the vegan way, when they have a sample of these, right on, Jack. Right on, Jack. It's all right. All right, we're back. Okay, the diet pizza is ready. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring it over, and we're going to just try it out, see what it's like. Everything has been really good so far, so. Yeah. And I have it on my, my stone pizza tray, so that's how it looks done. I, it, it browns the crust real good. And I, I kind of like my crust kind of browned up like that. Let me put that on top of this. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. We're just going to see how it is. Uh, one thing about pizza, you know, you can add whatever toppings you want onto it. So we're just going to see how this one is. Let me scoot this over here a little bit so it's in the more of a video for you guys. We're going to see how this, this uh, diet pizza is. This is the spinach and mushroom one. So we'll just go ahead and um, serve up a slice to each other. To each other. We will... Well, you know what? I'm going to do it the country old boy way. Here we go. We're just going to do it the country boy way. I have one of those little spatula deals, but you know, well, well it's coming off, boy, it's, it, that thing cooks, don't it? Okay, here's my sample right here. Ooh, that stone is still hot. Be careful, this stone is hot. Yeah. Goodness, again, it's hot. Okay, all right. So, piece is hot. Mmm. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good and hot. Mm. Mm. What do I say? It's too hot. It's too hot for you. Mm. You gotta let it cool off, huh? Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. It's good. This yeah. is not bad. Mm. It's not bad. Um. I will probably add a few things on here to make it more to my 
little, you know. Put but, our spin on it. Yeah. Put our spin on this one, but straight out the box, the way they make it, it's not a bad tasting pizza. It's, it's not bad at all. Mmm. Mm. It's hot as fuck. Hmm. Okay, I like the way that spinach is kicking in now. That's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is pretty nice. The spinach and garlic. And that, the uh, the mm -hmm. Fredo sauce That's they use on here. Mmm. The more I taste that Fredo sauce, it kind of goes it kind of goes in pretty decent. It's giving me a little bit more happier flavors now. Mm -hmm. So it's not bad. It's not bad. This is not a bad piece of just to have and, and to mm -hmm. take home and cook up and heat up and, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. mm. Really good. Well, I say it's good. I wouldn't say it's really good, but I would say it's good. I like it. Um, because Daya is more safer, it seems like they're more safer on the seasonings and things that they put on their products, which is good. Because if you want something a little bit more seasoned or whatever else, you can go ahead and add your flavor and touch to it. And for those of you who are more into like the raw vegetables and you want the taste of your, your vegetables and freshness of the vegetables, then this piece is going to be a very, very, very um, outstanding and delicious piece for you. For some of us who like our food a little more seasoned or whatever else, we're going to toss a little bit more flavor on it. But it's not a bad picture. It's tasting good. It tastes good. Uh, the more and more I eat it, the more I, that spinach, that fresh spinach on there, mm -hmm. it's fresh. I mean, it just comes out. It tastes like you just put the fresh spinach right on the pizza. Mm -hmm. So the flavor of the spinach and the, and the mushrooms, everything has its own flavor that kind of comes together. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. The reason why I say it, I wouldn't say it's very good is because I'm... To me personally, I would have to add a little bit of something to it. You know? Okay. I may have to add a little bit, maybe I have to mix another cheese on it. Throw like some kind of, you know, another cheese with it. Find a good vegan cheese that have a lot, a lot of punch of flavor in it. I think that's what maybe, because everything comes in, the, the crust, the flavor is there. Mm -hmm. This stone, it browns the crust real good. So if you like that crispier crust, the stone does it good. So the crust comes in good. The mushrooms are good. I like the sauce. Uh, the the sauce. spinach is good. The Alfredo sauce is good. Really good, the Alfredo sauce. The cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese is on here. That's the only thing. I can't taste the cheese to find out what type of cheese they use. And they may have it on the box what kind of cheese they use, but you, you know, you, you kind of have a flavor to your cheeses. And that's what it is with the diet, the, the cheese. I can't really grab the flavor on the cheese. And it's not bad, it's just that, you know, when you eat pizza, you want that flavor of that cheese to kind of be the thing that kind of hits you a little bit. And it doesn't hit me on the diet. So I would have to use another, uh, probably more flavorful vegan mozzarella or Parmesan or whatever mm -hmm. it's called cheese to kind of put on top of it so I can get that cheese kick out of my pizza. So okay. that's what I'm used to. That's the reason why I say it. But everything else is really good. It's really good. Okay, welcome back once again. Uh, we have the macaroni and cheese from Daya. Uh, and if I didn't, you guys didn't catch that before. Here it is, the cheesy mac. And here is the boom, 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 boom. the Alfredo style. There. So. Uh, we're going to try out the regular Cheesy Mac first, which is the golden one like we're used to, you know. And then we'll try out the Alfredo. Just, we'll just let you know how they taste. Okay, let me get this Cheesy Mac here. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's got um, had more flavor than what I thought it was going to have. Yeah, it's got a little more flavor than regular macaroni and cheese. It's got a, 
And it's not bad. Not bad. It's got a good flavor to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. So we we got some vegan macaroni and cheese. Uh, we're gonna be serving up at the house a little more often. Uh, so that's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. That's the regular mac and cheese. So that's pretty good. Probably gonna serve that during good. the holidays. You know, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas. You uh, used to having that. Yeah. That's a good alternative. The uh, only thing I would say is. Uh, it comes with one pack of cheese for the amount. Mm -hmm. I think they need a little bit more cheese on this one. Uh, it seems like this cheese kind of flows a little bit better, so it, it doesn't adhere to mm -hmm. the the I guess what you call it the macaroni as okay. well. And and so if you gonna serve, if I was gonna serve this, if I was gonna serve this to family and friends, what I would do with this, I will have the same macaroni cheese, but what I do is I buy two boxes. And I'll use one serving of the mac macaroni, uh, the shells, and I use two servings of the okay. cheese. Mm -hmm. I'll double up on the cheese. On the cheese. That's what I do. I, I have more cheese for this, okay. uh, and that's that's my only thing about it. I'll put more cheese in it. It's not enough. You know, we used to having that cheesy cheese and macaroni cheese. So <laughs> I, I would have more cheese on this. Okay. I just just for presentation and everything. As you can see, let me show you in the bowl what I'm talking about. See, if you look in the bowl, it's good, but you see how some of the macaroni is just not covering it as, as well. I think another uh, packet of cheese would be perfect for this one. Okay. Have it swimming in there. <laughs> it's good stuff. So it's not bad. It, it's got a good flavor bad. to it. It's, yeah. it's got a nice flavor. It's a nice flavor. It's a nice flavor. You know, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. not bad. Vegan, mm -hmm. just vegan, just some mac and cheese, vegan, mac and cheese, baby. Go and get it. Okay, so now we're gonna try out the Alfredo one. I've got some uh, green tea. I'm gonna sip in between. Mm -hmm. mm. These gonna pull out some more spoon. Yeah. This is one of my favorite teas so far. Drink it. I don't know if you can see that good. It's that Rishi uh, matcha green tea. <laughs> Y'all know about the matcha, you vegans. <laughs> but I, I like that. That's good. It comes in a tea bag. It's it's like a uh, uh, tea bag, like so. You know, so it's good stuff. Uh, so I'm drinking that in between to kind of flush out the flavor. Mm. I don't drink my tea with any sugar. Not this. This is good. Just straight, no sugar. Just. Mm. I have to have sugar in mine, but you know. Ah, uh, it's like going on vacation when I drink a cup of green tea. It's just, you know how you just want that just to take you away. You know what the women have on that commercial? They say, cow gun, take me away. Oh, my God. Or this green tea, take me away. Oh I just like, oh, hold on. I'm just, just home. One, one, you know how the church ladies put their finger up in there like, one, mo one moment, wait, wait. One moment, I'll be back. One moment. One moment. <laughs> just one moment. Don't interrupt me. I got to go. One moment. Just... Stay right. Okay. Okay. All right. We're supposed to be talking about the vegan yeah. stuff, not green tea. Yeah. So, but I, I'm loving it. Mm. It's good. All right. All right. So here we go with the Alfredo one. We're gonna try out this Alfredo cheese here. Now that's a doggone good mac, doggone good, dog, doggone, doggone good macaroni and cheese. That's a dog. Yeah. What? Yeah. Man, look at him. Alfredo macaroni and cheese. Yo, man. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty doggone good right there. That's good. That's pretty dope, man. Wow. Man. They ain't got no macaroni and cheese take that good over there. Mm -hmm. That Alfredo is kicking right there. Mm -hmm. That book is dangerous. Watch mm -hmm. yourself. Watch yourself. What you doing, girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that thing kicking. That's good. That's delicious. Oh, the Alfredo is good. Oh, the Alfredo is good. That's good. Oh. It got as soon as it hits your tongue, ain't nothing but flavor going all the way. It yes. go, it go from the front all the way to the back of your yes. mouth. Flavor just kick all around your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> hey, boy, <laughs> that book 
right there. That surprised me. That's a nice surprise. Yes. Really nice surprises. Y'all, look at here. Vegan products that taste really good. Yes. Straight out the box. Yes. With nothing to add to them. Yes. Straight up out the box. So this is what we did. Yes. Okay, guys, we're back. And we're going to be sampling uh, this product from Follow Your Heart. Uh, this is the vegan egg. We're going to be giving that a sample. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and get over here and taste it. This is, uh, if you look at it here, it looks like scrambled eggs. Uh, it scrambles up just like scrambled eggs. And I did a French toast with it also. So we're going to be sampling the French toast that we made with it. Got some blue agave nectar we're going to be doing with the French toast. Get the sweetness on all that good stuff on it. So, uh, did you go ahead and give it a try? Let's see. Let's see what we got. This is kind of fun. This is like fun day. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm going to keep that in there so you can see it in the, in the video there. Go ahead and uh, taste it there. Tell me what you think. Oh, the texture is like eggs. Yeah. It, it pulls, the texture is just like eggs. Huh. Pulls up just like eggs there. Oh. And oh, wow. it tastes like eggs. They taste like eggs. Oh, you sure ain't no eggs in here? Let me see. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Wow. Wow. It tastes like eggs. It tastes just like eggs. Whole, it's what is it? I got, I got flour, whole, I got protein. Uh, no, there's no eggs in here. No eggs. So, um. It's from the package. It's from the package. She wants me to show you the package. It comes in as a powder, you know, so it's, uh, it comes in here. It's not eggs in here, it's just in a carton. I think it's cute the way they do that. Uh, but it comes in a powder, and it folds up like a regular egg carton. So, uh, mm. the eggs are good. <laughs> it's scary how much it tastes like real eggs. That's scary. Wow. Okay. Mm. That's not bad. And what I seasoned it with, I just put salt, pepper, and onion powder. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you what, salt, pepper, and onion powder on any eggs is going to be good. Try it. If you just use salt and pepper, put, throw some onion powder in there and see what happens. So it's good. Mm -hmm. So, so good. we give that a thumbs up. So now we got this uh, French toast over here. We, we both look at it. I'm going to cut it in half. Let you go ahead and do that in your half and mm -hmm. my half. And we're going to... Put some blue agave nectar on that burger. Well, let's ta let's taste it without the nectar first. Let's see what it tastes like without the nectar. We know the eggs taste good. Yeah, that's some. Wait a minute. That tastes better than the French toast I made with eggs. I remember my French toast with eggs tasted like. Oh really? It didn't taste like that. That tastes better than the French toast I made with eggs. What the what? What the what? Oh Lord. Mm. Oh man. Oh man. And we sampling this and I'm gonna do the French toast video on it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'll do the French toast. You probably already know how to cook French toast, but I'll do a French toast video on this. Because oh. this French toast tastes better than the French toast I made with eggs. This stuff goes with bread like magical. It's pretty awesome. It is really good. Man. Wow. Oh, Lord. Jesus. You give these to your children, Lord, they would not good. know the difference. My goodness. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? This make me want to go down and, and take these with me. It's a bread. Salt, pepper, and honey powder. I got in there. Tell me some all. Oh, hope somebody has some. I'm gonna cook you some French toast with more. Just serve it to them. Let's see what they think. Just serve it to them? Mm hmm. Just cook the French toast and just serve it to them. See what they think. Mm -hmm. I bet they're gonna be like, man, that's some good French toast. But I'm gonna be like, that's a vegan French toast. Ain't no eggs in that. Ain't no eggs in that. That's the, it tastes so much like eggs. Oh my goodness, y'all. That's scary. This follow your heart? Yeah. Man, this vegan egg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two thumbs up, way up. It's off the chain. Yeah. Good. That was yeah. the best French toast I made. 
and I just use this product on it to make it like I normally do. Yes. And it tastes better with vegan egg than it does with regular eggs. Ah, oh, dog, man. I should have got this stuff a long time ago. <laughs> What? So if you're missing macaroni and cheese, pizza, hamburgers, hamburgers, beef jerky, beef jerky, huh? Come eggs, on. eggs, French toast, French toast, all that stuff. That's all we did. And then the, the blue cheese spread that oh, we did. Oh my goodness! Good. Uh, not even blue cheese spread, but it's a this. it's a chive spread. But the the spread we did with the cheese is just that was good. Nah. That was good. Y'all, every product, every product we sampled today was good. Yeah. Every product we sampled today would be something that you would enjoy. And um, Daya, work on that cheese on your pizza. You just work on the flavor on that cheese a little bit harder. Um, but it's still good pizza. It's just that when most of us eat pizza, you know, cheese is kind of like the main thing you want to get a mm -hmm. kick out of. And there was no kick at all on, on from your cheese on that one. Uh, and that's the only throwback I got out of the products we tried today. Yeah. Um, it's just, uh, and then uh, the, diet, the the regular macaroni and cheese, you need a bigger packet for it. I, I think the packet needs to be twice the size. Mm -hmm. uh, it tastes great, but it needs more cheese uh, per uh, the, the shell mushroom ratio. I think it needs yeah. a little bit more cheese on it. Uh, but your Alfredo cheese, oh, man, I don't know who came up with that. Mm -hmm. Pat him on the back for me because that boo rocked. It rocked hard, you know. Yeah. So we tried some good <laughs> products right off the shelf. Just follow the instructions on them. That's yes. all I ask you to do. Just follow the instructions. That's all we did. Follow the instructions. Yes. And, uh, and you'll enjoy them right off the shelf. Right off the mm -hmm. shelf. So uh, this is Tony and Dee's Kitchen. And we just had fun with y'all, trying these products yeah. out. We told you we were going to share some products with you guys out and try them out and tell you what, you, what we think of them. You know, and, and so you can get uh, an idea of the vegan products that are out there. Since most people think vegan only eat salads every day. Yeah. So it's much more than that. <laughs> yeah. so, Wait so a minute. Much more than quinoa. that, man. That's cool, but... You can do it all, yeah. man. Watch yourself, man. It's boring. Man, uh-huh. I can get some chicken and waffles there. I, I hate, yeah. hate Ty's Conscious Kitchen. Y'all look at Ty's Conscious Kitchen. Yeah. Hey, Ty and your whole family, we just want to shout out to you and say we love y'all. Yeah. I've been watching your videos on your Alkaline products. Yes. And uh, Ty's Country Kit, Con Conscious Kitchen rocks. That's all I can say. I freaking love them, man. I love Ty. I love, I, I just, you, you watch him, you can just fall in love with the family. Yeah. But uh, he has so many, he, he, he's doing Alkaline foods, right? Mm -hmm. Alkaline has an even more narrow base on the vegan planet yes. than regular vegan food. Yes. We're going outside of Alkaline because we can do carbs and we're just doing plant-based stuff. Yes. But Ty, he's going all the way in on Dr. the Sabian diet, Dr. Sabian's Alkaline foods. Mm -hmm. And he's making just about everything on the planet with just Alkaline food with less than what the vegans have. Yes. And and so and he's he's making it rock, you know. He's he's just like a rocket scientist. He rocks. So I just give a shout out for uh, Ty with Ty's Conscious Kitchen, and I have a link at the bottom of this video to Ty. Start watching some of his videos, get some of his stuff. And if you people are going through some things where you got sickness in your body and your doctor's giving you a diagnosis, uh, my thing is going vegan is going to help you too. But you need to have an understanding on alkaline foods too. You need to do at least 80% alkaline a day of the foods you eat and 20% non-alkaline. Alkaline has to be the majority of what you're going to be eating. And if you don't understand the alkaline foods, uh, Dr. Sabi, uh, he has a website that has a chart about the alkaline foods that he recommends. Uh, and uh, Ty's Country's Kitchen, I recommend Ty because he's rocking off the planet with yeah. alkaline foods, his recipes. He's off the planet, y'all. Just check him out. But I'm just saying, just going vegan is going to help you out. It's going to get you healthier. It's going to get you stronger. Mm -hmm. Have that understanding on the alkaline foods because, you know, you still got chips and some other things that people consider like junk food. Just because it's not meat doesn't mean that it's something you want to make a part of just yes. your main diet, you know. Mm -hmm. So you want to get more and learning more about alkaline and acidic foods and learning that how to get your pH balance in your body 
a little bit better and get it stronger, get it back balanced right. Your alkaline foods are going to do that. And so um, I'm just giving a shout out to Ty's Country's Kitchen because we share the love. You know, I'm not in com competition with Ty. Ty has a blessed uh, 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 series of videos and he mm -hmm. shows you how to cook these alkaline dishes. And if you have somebody in your family that's really sick, that really needs help, go straight up alkaline on them. And then uh, one other thing I recommend, whenever you go straight alkaline, you learn about alkaline foods, you begin to put alkaline foods in your body. I want to say one thing to you if you're going straight alkaline because you're in that situations where you're straight up sick. When you go alkaline, you need to truly double up on your potassium. Yes. Okay? Because when your balance, your body's pH level is way off, once you start going alkaline, you start to go in pure alkaline, you're going more towards eating alkaline foods and, and you want to get it balance back right, it challenges your potassium in your body. When your pH levels are starting to balance back right, your potassium in your body is challenged the most. That takes the greatest hit. And it's not that it's, 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 it's unhealthy for your body, it's just that getting your pH balance back in there, it takes your potassium takes the greatest hit to get it balanced back. And for those of you who uh, uh, have uh, decided to go straight alkaline then you should know what I'm talking about because when you go from like uh, an acidic diet and you shoot over to an alkaline diet you'll notice you start getting cramps in your legs you start getting all these cramps in different places in your body and they're like muscle cramps and you're trying to figure out hey what's causing this I'm eating healthier or whatever else it's because when your body goes from acidic to alkaline potassium is challenged the most in your body mm -hmm. so you need to have potassium supplements you need to do it. You need to get really, really high on potassium. Oh, and no. I, uh, and, and that's why we went to the Simple Truth, uh, the Simple Truth uh, Vapor Distilled Water with Electrolytes because this water has uh, potassium and uh, magnesium in it. It has those ingredients in it. Mm -hmm. So that's why we went to it. Mm -hmm. So, and so this is the reason why we this we drink this water because it has the potassium and the magnesium and you can in just it. get it from Kroger so we yeah. get ours so. yeah because our diet even though you see us mix in with some uh, uh, carbs and this that and the other some other things in our diet but our diet is 80 percent alkaline foods a day uh, there are some things like I get a big bowl of alkaline vegetables and fruit that's my biggest meal I fix a big bowl of it and boom, 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 you know. So, and there's some things we do with the carbs and whatever else because we're working out in the gym, we do different things. But we did go alkaline for a little bit and we know what the challenges are in your body getting the pH level balanced back. Uh, make sure when you do that, you, you must, you have to, you need to be on some kind of potassium supplements and get the good potassium supplements. Keep vinegar, keep pickle juice by you. Keep pickles, start snacking on pickles because it has that vinegar and potassium in it. The purest form of potassium comes through vinegar. So uh, keep the vinegar and the pickles and that's why the football players have those pickle pops and everything when they're out there in that heat and their body's being challenged. Uh, that puts the potassium back in their body that it needs to perform and for your muscles to perform and, 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 and to, to react the way they need to react. So, and potassium is a great thing, so you don't want to deplete yourself of potassium because you can end up stroking out in some cases with uh, potassium depletion. So it's not saying that I'm scaring you to go out. <laughs> I just want you to know that when you do it, take a good potassium supplement and recognize that your potassium is going to be challenged when you go from acidic to alkaline and it's going to be challenged for a duration of time. It's not going to be always. Mm -hmm. It's just a duration of time until you get your pH levels balanced back outright. And once your pH levels are balanced out really good and your alkaline is good in your system, then your potassium is not challenged because you're not mm -hmm. trying to fight to get back to that stage. Your pH is there. So everything balances out, just so you know. So that's some helpful advice we want to offer to you. And we just want to uh, thank you all for uh, having fun with us with these products. Uh, and we have, we have some more products we're going to try out because we see some other products in the stores and this and the other. And, and uh, Bain Cereal, they have cereals, all kinds of different things that they have that are vegan that are out there. Uh, 
And so we're going to try those out and we're just showing them to you guys so you know that they're there because some people don't know they exist. So mm -hmm. uh, the products we did today, some of you may have seen them for the first time, mm -hmm. which is a blessing because now you know they exist. They're out there so you can go get your macaroni and cheese on them and all that kind of stuff. So we love y'all from Tony and Dee's Kitchen and <laughs> I, I, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really blown away. I'm blown away by some of the products these companies are putting out. I'm really getting proud of these com these companies. I'm proud of being a vegan, and it gives me something to look forward to. It gives me hope because we have companies that says, "Hey, we're going to produce these products for you." You know, don't worry about it. Even if you're not the greatest cook in the world, we got some products we're going to put out there, make it easy for you, where you don't have to cook everything from scratch. You don't have to spend three hours in the kitchen every day trying to cook something. But uh, hey, <laughs> it's awesome. So I want to thank the companies that we, we had in this video. I just want to thank y'all. I want to bless y'all. God just bless these companies. Bless them with much success. Keep their hearts focused on the health of people and putting out healthy products. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you move upon those companies with great success. That you move people to their products. Wherever they are on the store, in the shelves, move people to their products to purchase their products. Because they're supporting us. They're supporting our health, Father. They're supporting the land that you created, Father, for us to get health from, to draw health from. And they're supporting the farmers who are putting these organic foods in the ground that keeps the ground healthy, Father, for generations to come so that we can enjoy healthy food. So, Father, I ask that you just bless these companies. You strengthen these companies. You give them great success. You give each and every vegan the success to be a successful vegan, to have that, that, that health in their life that they need, Father. To enjoy these natural things that come from the ground, the natural things that you touch with the air from heaven, with the rain from heaven that has all the nutrition and soil, that, everything that it needs to go to that seed, to make that seed grow and let us benefit from it by having health from the things that you have caused to prosper. Only you, God, can bring life to a seed that which is dead. You can only bring life to that seed and let it sprout up from the ground and bring, be something super healthy for us. And I thank you for it. I thank you for these companies. Touch them. Guide them. Keep their hearts and their, 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 their momentum focused on the health of the people putting out these vegan products. Let them not slack. Let them go forth with what they need to do to keep these vegan products going and to create more vegan products for everybody. And I just thank you for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tony and Dee's Kitchen, we signing off. We love y'all. Bye.